Tonight, Spokane is grieving the loss of a hometown hero. 40-year-old Chief Warrant Officer Neil Lyons was one of seven soldiers killed in a helicopter crash in Afghanistan earlier this week. KXLY4 Sally Showman is here with us, and you talked with those who knew him well at Eastern, Sta uh, Eastern State or rather Eastern Washington University where he graduated. Yeah, he graduated back in 1995 from the geography department. Professors tell me he's one of those students that really stands out. Today's news of his death is hitting hard. I saw it in, the, in this morning's paper and it just hit me right between the eyes. My heart stopped for a moment and I said, like, oh, Neil. On Monday, Neil Lyon's family lost a son, a brother, and a father. The military lost a decorated soldier Eastern Washington University lost a cherished alumni. He was very open and easygoing. He didn't get excited about things. Um, he was just the sort of person that stands out in a, in, a, in, a, in a classroom, no matter how many people were in the room. You, you knew Neil was there. Fun-loving sounds kind of cliched, but I mean, he really was a very um, enthusiastic, kind of vibrant person to have in a classroom. It's been 17 years since Lyons walked the halls of Eastern's geography department, but his professors say he was among the most memorable students of their careers. This was just one of those students that you don't forget. The lessons he learned here he carried into his military career, which according to the Department of Defense began in 94, just a year before he graduated from Eastern. Chief Warrant Officer Lyons was a pilot and a tactical operations officer. This was his second deployment to the Middle East, and throughout his career he was awarded more than a dozen medals. Lyons' body arrived back in the United States on Wednesday at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware, just one step closer to Spokane, where he'll soon return to a grieving community filled with people lucky to have known him. I mean, we're, we're just very proud of him. Yeah. Lyons is survived by his parents, brothers, and a sister, all from Spokane. He also has a son that lives in Alabama. I did speak with Lyons' brother this afternoon. They are requesting privacy right now and say that Neil had requested as little coverage as possible in the case that he dies at war. Well, the governor has ordered all flags to be flown at half-staff Wednesday, November 4th, in honor of Lyons.